morning guys welcome back to my channel chance the solo traveler today is 23rd of january and today finally i'm planning to go out on a solo day trip kind of thing just to check out places in mississauga because all this time i was kind of nervous you know and i was kind of busy also with my college work as you can see the entire neighborhood is white it snowed here yesterday thankfully it's not snowing today i think i'll be going to port credit lighthouse that's the first place that i'm planning to go and from there lake show promenade i think it is kind of cold yesterday was very cold yesterday was freezing cold and it was snowing but uh, thankfully today it's not snowing i have to cross the road in order to take the bus another bus that is bus number 2 southbound or oh, that is a direct bus to port to credit lighthouse since i have to use gopro i am not putting on my gloves but it is kind of very very cold at least we can see some part of the sun today i had gotten a mississauga monthly transit pass on the first day i got here but i was staying at a walking distance to my college so i had to use the pass just once or twice and it was expiring in 6 days so i thought why not just use it and explore some parts of mississauga Uh, the bus arrived at the station right on time at 10:27 a.m. and right now I'm walking towards Port Credit Lighthouse. It's I guess 10 minutes walk. When you walk, you don't feel the cold that much. Is that the lighthouse? Not really sure, but it looks kind of small. Oh well, let's go. Let's go and check it out. On this harbor, this snug harbor. Port Credit lies in southern Mississauga and is located on the shore of Lake Ontario. This is the place where the Credit River empties into Lake Ontario. There are many parks and trails here for a casual stroll and relaxation for all the nature lovers. exploring you know i don't know anything about this place i haven't researched anything about this place i don't know what are the attractions here but i'm just going to go and just randomly take photographs take videos this lighthouse is a replica of the original lighthouse which was burnt in 1936 and is a reminder of this town's marine heritage what credit lighthouse i asked one guy we're not supposed to climb we're not allowed to climb actually initially i was thinking it would be a big tower you know <laughs> from where you could see everything but uh, it's not that big anyway we are not allowed to climb so that's that There isn't anyone right now because it's winter. I have read that this place gets energetic during summer months with lots of festivals and activities.
just checking out places here in Port Credit. This was like places to visit near Mississauga. One of my friend had sent me a link in WhatsApp and that's how I came here, you know. This might be Lake Ontario. Please correct me if I'm wrong. It's a cool place. So guys this is Lake Ontario as you can see this lake is huge I had been to that side and the other side the lighthouse is on that side and this is uh, this is some park this is such a huge lake and it looks really beautiful hey what's her name Bailey. hi Bailey she's like my ex-wife miserable Over the next couple of minutes I sat in solitude enjoying the view and listening to the gentle sound of the waves hitting the rocks. I started solo traveling three years back and I know that it's not gonna be easy now with my class schedule and all that and it's gonna get busy in the coming months. But having said that, I'm the happiest when I'm traveling. So I'm definitely going to explore the beautiful parts of Canada in the coming days. It's definitely on my bucket list. This place was really awesome. There are a lot of parks here. The scenery is really beautiful. Probably now I'm gonna go to uh, Lakefront Promenade. Uh, I asked a couple of people, they said it's like 45 minutes by walk, but I'm gonna take a bus maybe. I came from Port Credit Lighthouse and I took a bus 23 eastbound and then I had to walk like, I'm still walking like 1.3 kilometers. This is the way to Lakefront. I could see a lot of different birds here. I had never seen those birds before. They look so beautiful, you know. The place itself is so beautiful. I wonder how this will look like during summer, uh, spring season, or even fall, you know. But right now, also, it's so beautiful. <laughs> this goose will guide me if I'm on the proper road because wherever there's a lake, I think you'll find these kind of goose. So many of them and they are so big. This is the first time I'm seeing these birds. It's Lake Front Promenade. Hmm. Port Credit is on that side. Lakefront Promenade is a beautiful waterfront park on the shore of Lake Ontario. Though it's hard to see it in winter, but in summer this place will be vibrant with activities. There isn't much activity happening right now because it's winter. I don't know if we can make out but we can see downtown Toronto from here that is the CN Tower. From families enjoying picnics to people playing sports, chilling by the beach and having fun, this place will be lit. We'll definitely visit here during summer months. This is so cool. You can see those orange color, that is the sunset happening. I wish I could take a time lapse but I don't know if I've got the time, let's see.
this was my first solo day trip in Canada and it was fun you know it's winter time and there's not much activity happening right now it is kind of getting very cold and super windy it's freezing actually it's 318 p.m. right now and I think I'll take a direct bus I just have to walk a little bit more bus number 8 if you can see so I'm gonna take this bus this will directly drop me at city center transit terminal so yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoy my content please like comment subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next one bye ciao